Welcome back, EV enthusiasts. Today we're diving into a fascinating article published by Car and Driver magazine, entitled, Presenting Car and Driver's 2023 EV of the Year. Their champion this time? It's the Hyundai Ioniq 6, reinforcing the fact that, when it comes to electric vehicles, the Koreans are moving full speed ahead. Following a grueling week of rigorous testing, in-depth analysis, and hours upon hours of charging, Car and Driver has crowned a Hyundai vehicle as their top choice for two consecutive years. Last year, the honor went to the Ioniq 5, but this year, it's the new sedan sibling, the Ioniq 6, that's stealing the limelight. Alongside strong performances from the Genesis electrified GV70 and the Kia EV6 GT, it's clear that the Hyundai Kia Genesis Trio is carving out a strong position in the increasingly competitive EV market. In car and driver's view, the Ioniq 6 a resemblance to its predecessor, the Ioniq 5, works in its favor. But the Ioniq 6 is not just an iteration on a successful platform, it brings its own unique charm to the table. As the magazine playfully states, just look at it. This banana-shaped sedan might differ in design from the angular hatchback of its sibling, but it's just as eye-catching. It calls to mind the first-gen Mercedes CLS with its sloping profile, but Hyundai cites an even more interesting source of inspiration, the 1930s Stout Scarab. Despite the decades and design philosophies separating the two, there's a certain undeniable connection. Regardless of its design inspiration, one thing's for sure, the Ioniq 6's sleek aerodynamics afforded an impressively low drag coefficient of just 0.22. Moreover, it's always exciting to see an automaker debut an EV sedan, joining the ranks of other standouts like the Polestar 2 and Tesla Model 3, rather than simply releasing yet another mid-size crossover. Moving under the hood, Hyundai's eGMP platform continues to impress. The Ioniq 6 comes with an option of a single rear-mounted motor that delivers 149 or 225 horsepower, depending on the battery size, along with 258 pound-feet of torque. Or, if you prefer, you can opt for the dual-motor configuration that combines to generate a powerful 320 horsepower and a whopping 446 pound-feet of torque. The standard offering includes a substantial 77.4-kWh battery pack, the test vehicle, as described by Car and Driver, was a dual-motor limited edition. It managed 220 miles in their highway test and comes with an EPA-rated range of 270 miles. But wait, it gets even better. The single-motor limited version boasts an EPA-estimated range of 305 miles, and the dual-motor SE model can reach up to 316 miles, thanks to its efficient 18-inch wheels. But the one that truly stands out is the single motor SE, which astonished everyone when Hyundai unveiled its staggering EPA range estimate of 361 miles. Although, car and driver's test run observed a more conservative 260 miles. This model also achieved a combined figure of 140 MPJ, surpassing the rear drive Tesla Model 3's 132 MPJ. An entry level model is also available featuring a smaller 53.0-kWh battery pack, which delivers a modest 240-mile range according to EPA ratings. When the time comes to recharge, the Ioniq 6 a 800-volt architecture comes into play, enabling recharging speeds of up to 235 kilowatts. This translates to some of the fastest charge times seen in mainstream EVs. As for speed, the dual-motor version clocks 0 to 60 miles per hour in a swift 4.3 seconds. However, its accelerator mapping might make it feel less sporty than other dual-motor EVs, like the EV6 GT, for instance. The 225-horsepower single-motor version hits the 60 miles per hour mark in 6.2 seconds. Car and driver found the Ioniq 6 to be solidly structured, displaying excellent handling even over rough terrains during their most challenging test loops. The ride is well controlled and stable, ensuring the car remains flat and secure when cornering. Notably, Hyundai also seems to have perfected the braking system, providing great pedal feel and easy customization of lift-off region through steering wheel paddles. 
It would be a stretch to say that Hyundai has completely conquered the soundscape of electric vehicles, but, in all fairness, that's a challenge yet to be truly met by any automaker. The audio experience is, after all, highly subjective, and while the Ionic 6 offers a variety of futuristic soundscapes, we found that muting them allowed us to appreciate the car's impressive sound insulation. As for the cabin, while it may not boast luxury-grade materials for its price point, it does flaunt an inventive design, the sleek door panels being a prime example. Be aware, the sweeping roofline does compromise rear headroom somewhat, despite the low set seat cushion. However, Hyundai does deserve praise for not overhauling their infotainment system just for the sake of their EV line, and the controls aren't radically different just to be unique. The car also offers generous console storage, making daily life a little easier. The trunk might be a bit smaller than you'd anticipate, and the front, while present, isn't particularly spacious, offering just enough room for a few notebooks. But when all is said and done, the Ionic 6 is both a superbly crafted electric vehicle and a car that you would genuinely want to drive. As car and driver noted, this refined EV makes few errors as it showcases the strength of Hyundai's eGMP platform, landing it in the winner's circle yet again. And on that note, we're wrapping up our deep dive into the Ionic 6, Car and Driver's 2023 EV of the Year. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more EV insights and reviews. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.